Hey everyone. All right. In today's video, I want to talk about the root chakra and it's a direct correlation with mother nature. So let's get into it. Okay. So, and I am so excited about this vlog because I just realized something this morning about the root chakra. All right. So the root chakra is uh, located right at the end of your spine and it's your first chakra. So if you can imagine, um, your first chakra is obviously closest to mother nature. So this is why it is directly connected to mother nature. The color of the first chakra is red. And red is a really fiery color. Red is actually the color of yang energy. Yang energy is male energy. It is the energy of action. The energy that we use to do things, to create to, not to create, creativity is yin, but yang is the things that we do to build, like build a business, go to work and make money. Those are all yang. It's very go, 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 go. Whether you're thinking or not, whether you're unconsciously doing things or you're consciously thinking about stuff, because your mind is also your ego, and which is also yang ego is also yang so the root chakra is red in color it's very fiery therefore it's yang and it's also the ego it's also the root of the ego isn't that interesting i think that is nuts so the root chakra i visualize it when i would do my meditation um, I would visualize, because I always sit on the ground, so I would visualize like roots, like tree roots, going from my root chakra, from my, so the bottom of my spine, right into the ground. And that's how I would connect with Mother Nature in my mind's eye. And that is also how I would connect to the trees and the animals. I would become one with Mother Nature. Now, the interesting part of the root chakra for me in my spiritual journey, and I just realized this today, is that the last chakra that I have really opened up and connected with is the root chakra. So the root chakra represents stability, safety, and security. Okay, and if that chakra is imbalanced, you're gonna feel very scattered in your energy. You'll feel anxiety, you'll feel fear. If I'm looking down, it's because I'm just looking down at my notes that I've written for you guys. Okay, so in my spiritual journey, and the reason I wanna share this is because I think so many of us do this in our, because if I did it, I'm sure there's so many other people that do this too. Okay. So, oh, this is so crazy. I'm so excited to share this. Um, so what I realized in my spiritual journey over the last like 15 years now, I have been really good at opening up all of my chakras. And just last year, so what I did was I opened up my crown, my my third eye, my throat, my heart chakra, my solar plexus, which is everything to do with creativity, and my sacral, which is just under the navel. And the last to open up was, is, right now, I'm working on is the root. And this, I think, happens to people that are in their spiritual journey. We begin to connect our top halves. So the top half is more with the ether, with God, whereas the bottom three are more with like mother nature and this dense earth, this life here. So in my spiritual journey, what I did was I became really good at opening up my first, like my top chakras and connecting with the divine and connecting with the, the ether. But what I didn't do as well was to open up my sacral and my root. Those were the hardest. And the sacral chakra is right above the root chakra. I don't wanna talk about the sacral chakra right now because I don't wanna confuse anybody. So I'm realizing today that my root chakra has been the cause of 
me not feeling secure or stable or safe in life because I opened all this up so quickly, not so quickly, decades, like years. So I've been working on I all of the top chakras that I forgot about the root. And it wasn't until last year, last year I had this like, epiphany and I felt like I don't want this entrepreneurial life maybe it's not for me maybe this whole entrepreneurial thing came from my ego and I did a vlog about that I'll link it below um, maybe it all came from my ego when I started questioning that that's when I erased all of my vision board erased everything off and I wrote on my vision board as big as could be um, uh, from for the end of 2019 and all of 2020, my main goal is going to be to feel secure and safe and stable in love and in finances. I want absolute freedom, safety, stability in love and in finances. And it wasn't until this morning that I realized Oh my God, it was my root chakra the whole time. And the reason I'm feeling it right now is because my root chakra is opening. And some of the signs of the root chakra opening, so when your root chakra begins to open, you actually become more yin. Isn't that funny? Because the fiery root chakra, which is yang, it becomes more yin and yin is female energy. It's not male. Yang is male energy. Yin is female energy. It's very, very soft and subtle and quiet and loving. Everything that yang is not. So, and it's cooling. So, so the coolness of the yin begins to balance the fiery side of the yang. And when I started realizing that my root chakra, like today I realized, I'm acting like I, no, today when I was like, oh my God, my root chakra needs balancing and healing because I'm more yin now. I don't need, I have given myself, so in my life, I gave myself so much instability financially with entrepreneurship that and because all these other chakras were open, I actually gave myself a lot of isolation, no love. I never, that's why my, above the root, I said the sacral chakra, the sacral chakra was, has not been open fully either because that's the one of like love, sexuality, all of that. So anyways, but I dedicated myself to entrepreneurship, go, 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 work, work, work. What that does is even though the root chakra is all about the ego and doing, but the more you do, the more you get lost in the ego and the more the root chakra closes down. And it wasn't until I found my yin energy to open the root chakra back up that, and, and here's the sign, when you know that your root chakra is opening when you start to feel one with the tree outside, like you actually wanna go hug a tree. I'm not even kidding you. Or you notice animals are coming to your doorstep more. I had two raccoons at my, just waiting for me at my door yesterday they come and hang out in my back I have cats I have birds all these I've noticed an influx of animals coming to me this is since I became yin and this is because my root chakra is opening up and that's what that was the energy that I just took the um my uh, cleaner clean my whiteboard and wrote I want stability and I want security it's because my root is opening up so this balance of yin and yang is so important when it comes to our chakras. And I know I'm like so crazy in this vlog and full of energy, but it's because I'm just realizing it and I love it. And I hope that it helps you guys because this journey I'm sharing as I'm going, um, as I'm like experiencing it and I'm super excited. My root chakra is opening. So that might mean love is coming. That may, might mean an influx of financial abundance, security, stability, I said on my board, in money and in love. Wish me luck, guys. Love you. Tell me what your root chakra experiences have been. Now I can take a breath.